windy here today, but I just wanted to get this uh, willow documented before before too long here. It's sure coming back nice. We got le leaves are coming out, and uh, this is our our windbreak because it is a wind tunnel here. So we got a nice uh, nice stand of willow here that's coming back really good. This is a, oh, I want to say it's third year, and we haven't cut it yet um, because we want to get those roots really nice and established. And I and it's, it's black plastic is down um, on the bottom. That's what we planted this with and had really good success, really good luck. But uh, this will get, I'm thinking of, because we need this for windbreak um, more than we necessarily need it for the rods, um, we will uh, we'll probably do um, a succession of cutting uh, this next year. I might cut, you know, this end out and then leave the, the other side and then... Uh, uh, it's just so we still have something for a, a windbreak, and then as it grows in, we'll just flip flop it. But uh, just beautiful, it's coming in just great. Um, one of the most successful uh, beds that we've put in. Well, I guess I can't say that. Um, we've we've had really good luck. We have another little bed right there, and that is going on its second year. And we haven't cut that at all yet. Um, we're just trying to get it established, and then we'll cut it. Sonny, get over here. Look at that little. Sonny's helping us out here. This is our curly willow. We have three different types of curly willow. And I couldn't tell you <laughs> what they are. Um, but, we have a, uh, I don't know about you, but this curly willow is almost gives a show from all the other willow because it's just so pretty. Um, but we've been cutting this, now it's every other, so this year we cut these and they're already coming back nice and strong. And then uh, this we let go for a year because we need the windbreak here as you can see and uh, there's another different type this is like a golden oh this is just we've replanted this a lot of places around the house just to keep make sure we have it Got a red buds. This guy is only a three years old, I think. We're just getting him established as well. Then we'll go up here. Another red bud. And this is a little drier up here than it is down there. But here we have, we have cut these. I think in the last video I did, we uh, showed you, or I showed you me cutting it. I don't remember right. Now that one, it's not doing nothing. So hopefully it'll come back. Otherwise we'll replace it this next year when, like, with these like we did here with uh, cutoffs. But I'm thinking I have an old established, this is one of our first, uh, Eddie, <laughs> my dog, my cat is trespassing right now. Um, we have uh, one of, this is the first, one of the first places that I've planted willow. And uh, so 
lot of the other willow beds have come out from here. And, uh, uh, I don't know, it's just, just wonderful. But now I think what I'll do so that we have a little more wind, uh, wind break is uh, I'll cut that one like this next year, let these grow, and uh, we'll just do an every other year rotation. If we still get the great, uh, if we still get the great rods, because these produce just an amazing amount of rods, and they're all just, you know, basket perfect almost. So we'll see how it goes. But here's a hybrid willow right here that's finally coming into its own. Um, and it gives like one, two. One, two, three, four. Um, but it really struggled to get going because of the weed and uh, the weed pressure on it. And I think we and we have a couple rabbits out this way too. So here's our magnolia, doing pretty good. And these are our black uh, rods, and they are doing really exceptionally well. So that is awesome. We have some dappled willows over here. Another red bud. Michelle likes her red buds. And my yucca. My yucca looks like needs some water. But these are our dappled willows. And this is supposed to be just a bed that I'm going to cut from and we'll uh, use it as a a nursery because we have uh, I threw a bunch of different ones in here that we needed to propagate like our darker um, our darker rods and that's been working out really good this year though I didn't cut them because I've been cutting them pretty heavily and uh, we'll, we'll let them establish themselves a little bit more and then we'll get some thicker uh, rods cut uh, to utilize so anyway so that's that's this this is our newest addition this is a Rowan and I've always we've always had Rowans growing up so we're gonna <laughs> get them going here and spread all over we already got tomatoes in tomatoes and cukes a lot of uh, a lot of good uh, a lot of good onions and uh, <laughs> I don't know what uh, oh we got some stinging nettles we had a, before we put these cattle panels in we had a little uh, a bed here for our herbs and uh, those stinging nettles we keep uh, letting them grow and then we'll dig them out and put them all over our property um kind of helps with trespassers <laughs> but uh then we have them have them available now this is a this one i got off ebay and i don't remember exactly what brand this or you know what what type of willow that is but it's sure been a good producer for us But here's our curly willows. This is our where our bird feeder and stuff is. So I planted a bunch of curly willows over here. And we'll let them go to almost to trees. And uh, this is where our bird houses and our, um, our bird feeders and stuff will end up being integrated into as we kind of weave these into structures. But it's always fun.
got garlic and uh, garlic and more onions. And then nothing's planted here yet. And we got uh, potatoes down on the end there, but they haven't poked their head up yet. But this is our other. And it's just getting going. This is its second year, maybe third year. But this it gets beat up pretty bad with the, the rain and or with the wind. But it's coming in really nicely right now. So we will take that. But anyway, that's our willow in our garden. Kind of a long video, but I wanted to get that documented. We planted our um, apple trees and some pear trees. This one's struggling. I think we got some overspray of herbicides. Killed off. Well, it could be two things. It, it was showing that, you know, we got some herbicide on our trees. Um, and it is so windy here that, you know, it's hard not to get overspray. But uh, we lost this tree. Um, and I think it's because of my voles and voles and those pesky, pesky munchers. So, look at this ruby. She follows us around quite a bit. <laughs> we have willow all over and it just grows every year. Um, you know, the mon mon number of beds we have. But this was another eBay willow. <laughs> and uh, we propagated it all over. It's a nice, really nice willow. Um, but this year I'm going to let this grow because uh, we have mulberries here. And I've uh, hard pruned them back. I want to keep these guys kind of small. Um, got our black locusts, but those are two. Those are um, mulberry there. So we got our pigs. Let's go check out the pigs. This is long already, so I think uh, if you're not dizzy already by me walking around, we still got our pigs. kind of stocked up we kept uh, our gilts now they're uh, now they're sows they had a bad winter we had a cold snap um, our housing for them really sucks so that's what we're working on this year is to get some good housing and uh, for them but we stocked up we got seven grown hogs here <laughs> three are boars, and these are the four girls, or all three of the girls. That's one of our youngest uh, boars there. I think this is the guy that I'm going to end up keeping. And the other two I'm going to uh, probably send on their way. I wanted to butcher them, but it didn't, we didn't get to it this year. It's kind of hard uh, butchering when you only have one person that can do all the dirty work and has never done it before so we are hog rich and bacon and sausage poor i guess but they're so fun to have around right now i got them working there's an old chicken coop foundation right here and i've been throwing corn and stuff you know in the corners there and they've been tearing it out for me um <laughs> it's kind of fun if you throw, um, I have a bunch of wood over here that I'm waiting to make into charcoal. And every once in a while I'll throw a corn in there and they'll go through there like pixie sticks and uh, just throw it all around and it's kind of fun. But, thanks for joining me. This is getting way too long. 15 minutes is enough. God bless you.